So our first alert weather now on this fabulous Friday. The drone 13 flying over Donner Lake tonight. That's a nice shot, right? Stunning. All that fresh snow, another big ski weekend in store in the Sierra. So expect some crowds if you're looking to hit the slopes. Don't be thinking that uh, you can try and pick and choose when you can go <laughs> because anytime you go, it's going to be crowded. I guess maybe tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. would be a good time. Wow. Yeah, yeah good Just, window. You know. Nice and dark and early. Some yeah. people get do out that, there. right? Nerdy. Probably yeah. to miss all the traffic, mm -hmm. but then not have to leave on a Friday if they've got to work. I mean, I get it. Hey, Whatever you got to do takes. what you got to do. Whatever but yeah, if you're going to go to the slopes this weekend, you should have no issues out there today. We saw Bluebird Day. Tomorrow, we'll notice a few more clouds as a storm system moves by to the north. But as we take a look at satellite and radar, the storm system mainly going to be directed towards the Pacific Northwest. And you can see all that moisture pointed directly towards the Pacific Northwest. We'll catch the tail end of the system as it moves through the region starting tomorrow. Timing this out with future casts, we'll start to notice the clouds increasing out there early tomorrow morning. As that cold front moves in, it's really going to fall apart once it hits the valley. A couple of scattered showers will be possible, mainly along and north of I-80, but a lot of us are going to be dealing with more dry conditions heading into tomorrow afternoon. We'll even start to dry out again through tomorrow evening. That'll continue into early Sunday, so if you're looking to do some out outdoor plans this weekend, you shouldn't really have any issues. By the time we head into Sunday evening, that's when our second wave arrives and this one packing a little bit more moisture along with it. We'll have the chance of more widespread rain chances through the valley out towards the coast and even across the Sierra. More accumulation will be expected from Sunday night and into early Monday. But by the time many of us are waking up Monday morning, we'll start to notice drier conditions before a third and final wave arrives Sunday night or Monday night, excuse me into early Tuesday and our third and final wave going to be the best rain and snowmaker that we'll see over the next couple of days until we get there. However, enjoy the quiet conditions. However, this weekend, if you are going to be traveling back, we could see some chain controls, especially by the time we head into Sunday evening, early Monday. We do have a winter storm watch that has been issued starting as early as Sunday morning. That'll continue through Tuesday morning and again, mainly going to be our higher elevations impacted by the storm that's going to be moving in. Snow accumulations mainly going to stay above 4,500 feet, and we could see about 6 to 12 inches of snow. Nothing compared to what we saw last weekend. Temperature is out there right now, feeling nice. Many of us still holding on to the 60s. We will start to cool down late this evening, dropping into the 30s and 40s. Looking ahead to tomorrow, temperatures will be a bit cooler than today, but many of us back into the lower 60s through the valley. Up towards the foothills and Sierra, 40s and 50s on the way through the afternoon. 60s through the Central Valley again tomorrow feeling nice and yes, staying dry through the day. The Delta and Bay Area also back into the 50s and 60s to get the weekend started and your weekend going to come with more dry time. But by the time we hit Sunday evening, we'll have the chance of getting some more rain into Tuesday. That'll be our next round of rain on the way. But looking from Wednesday beyond into next weekend, we're talking about a lot of sunshine and some warmer temperatures. Guys.